This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to prepare you for writing the Excel 2016 core exam by walking you through the practice tasks for Objective 2.3, Summarize and Organize Data. Let's get started. With our 2.3 workbook open, we're going to focus on the values in the extended price column. So I'm going to select those just by clicking in F2. I'm going to control shift down arrow to make sure all those values are highlighted. Next, what we want to do is apply the three arrow icon set. So this is one of our conditional formatting options. So I'm going to go into conditional formatting. I'm going to select icon sets and go to the three colored arrow. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to take a look at all of the values from the smallest to the largest. And if the value is in the bottom third of that uh, amount, it's going to get a down arrow. If it's in the middle third, it's going to be a right arrow. And if it is in the top third of the values, it'll get a green up arrow. So we can see side arrow here, bottom arrow, or excuse me, down arrow. And then if we go a little bit further, uh, we should be able to find an upward arrow. Now, this isn't dividing all of these into thirds, uh, kind of despite how it sounds, in that uh, there's more than a third of these that are down arrows. However, there's a lot of values in the, the lower third of the magnitudes that are shown here. So I'm not a, a huge fan of using the arrows to denote this. Uh, I don't find it particularly intuitive, but it is a good skill to, to know. But I think the, the key to being a good Excel user or a financial analyst is knowing the best way to communicate the information you intend. And in this case, I, I would consider this a, a poor choice. Uh, but let's go to our next instruction and that is to add blue data bars to the column. And again, we're gonna go into conditional formatting. We're gonna go into data bars, and there's actually two different blue bars. One is solid and one is gradient, um, and it doesn't specify which. Normally in your exam, it will be very explicit. It will say use the gradient fill blue data bar so that there's no kind of confusion. We're going to use the gradient because it's the first on the list here. And now, after we've done that, we're going to notice in each of these cells, there's going to be a bar that's going to show from the, the smallest to the largest value how it compares. So let's see if we can find one of our larger values here. So there's 125. That's almost all the way to the right. Our largest value here, right, 153, is basically the full cell. So you can take a look at this 58 here. Is showing it it's it's not quite halfway compared to 153 so it's all in proportion to the largest value in your data set when it's doing these data bars all right next we want to fill all the cells in the column that contain values greater than 100 with bright yellow and again this is a conditional formatting we want to highlight cells and the very first option is greater than so we want to format cells that are greater than 100. And it tells us that we want to fill it in bright yellow. So that's not that option. We can check these are the, uh, the other options here. Now, again, I'm going to try and follow the directions very specifically because that's what will happen in the exam. Now, uh, you probably won't have to do a custom format in the exam. Uh, it, it'll give you specifically select green fill with dark green text so you won't be confused. But in this case, we're going to choose a custom format. I'm going to go to just normal color font. I'm going to select the fill section. And here is bright yellow for us. I'll click OK and OK again. Now that I've done that, all the values that are greater than 100 are going to be highlighted yellow. So we can just do a quick check here by scrolling through. So there's 125. Certainly, it's greater than 100. It's yellow. 106, 153, and another 106. So it looks like we have that one taken care of.